Hello everybody out there in Beerville. Glad you could join us for another episode of Beer Reactions. I'm Paul. And I'm Jono. And this week we're going to be trying out two more beers to see if we can find another beer of the year. I'm really looking forward to it. Indeed. So, shall we just unveil the ale? Let's unveil the ale. Oh, oh, this looks very interesting. So, right, what have you got, Jono? This beer has actually come from Aldi. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, it's come from Aldi. This is Bière Melissime. Okay. Right. It's a French beer. And it's so, a dry hopped beer. Okay, alcohol. Alcohol. <coughs> um, I should know that. It's 6%. Oh, right, okay. So it's, it's got quite a kick. Great, great, okay. So let me tell you a little bit about my beer. Please do. So this is Pegasus IPA, which is a, an IPA flavoured with fermented rhubarb, okay. and it's from Vibrant Forest Brewery. And a, in terms of ABV, it's 6.2%. So it's another strong one. So it's another strong beer. So should we, should we dive into some of these beers? I think we should get pouring. Let's get pouring. Let's get pouring. Ooh, Ooh, nice little hiss. Nice little hiss there. Okay, John, you ready? Yeah. Gosh, I can really smell that. Gosh, it's very well. That I can smell that. I'm standing well away from it and I can smell that. Do you know, for a beer that's uh, unfiltered, it's surprisingly clear. Much clearer than I was expecting it's it like to be. It's like a white wine colour. And I was actually expecting it to have a kind of pinky colour, actually. But it, Is that because of the rhubarb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That looks that actually looks pretty good, I have to say. So I'm just going to stop there because I don't want to give myself too much. So let's give this a wee sniff and see how it. Oh goodness me! In terms of a, there's de there's oh, there's most certainly a tropical smell to there that. There is definitely there? a tropical smell there. It's the pineapple and mango and, again. And, um, and you know, there's, there's a, a sort of a guava smell to that. I can get that. There's something acidic <laughs> behind it's it. It's a rhubarb, I think. Yeah, that's the, what is it? Is it oxysilic acid that's yes, in rhubarb? Yes, that's right, that's right. I mean, I have to say, in terms of, I mean, these guys have said that there's a there's a tropical uh, aroma, a berry aroma. That's most definitely there. There's, definitely there's no there. doubt about that. Right, I'm going to. Got to get in there. Cheers. Cheers. Wow! Well, the acidity is definitely there. Mm. There's that initial tropical sweetness as you take the sip. There's almost a, a slight Gosh. biscuitiness, which is sweet, and then you get that tropical sweetness. Can really taste and then as, you, as, as, as it goes to the back of your tongue, everything goes dry, and it's the acidity of that rhubarb in there. It's definite. It, it's, there's, it almost fills your mouth then as you swallow the, all that's left, and then it lingers with a hoppiness, and you come back to that tropical, that tropical aftertaste. I'm getting that rhubarb on the top of my mouth. Mm. It's, it, it's absolutely, it's unmistakably rhubarb. It's one of those that if you hold it in your mouth and breathe out through your nose, those olfactory cells that you've got, and you've got taste buds up there as well, actually create a different flavour sensation. Gosh. Mm -hmm. And then breathe out through your nose after you've swallowed it. Oh. The rhubarb is astounding. Do you, know, I, do you know, I, 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 before this evening, if you said to me, um, you know, putting rhubarb in a beer is a good idea, I just, I, I don't think I would have believed you, but there's something about this that really works. So, I don't need to score this. What are you thinking? I'm going to give it a seven. Seven and a half from me, Jono. Wow. So, yeah. we'll tell you what we'll do. We'll write this up and we'll get it on the scoreboard, shall we? Indeed. We've made some space in the board, so let's get it up there, Jono. Okay. So that's a Vibrant Forest with their Pegasus Rhubarb IPA, 14 and a half points. That puts it in third place, wow. It does, indeed. Great beer. Well done, Vibrant Forest.
Um, and you know, if you're from Vibrant Forest Brewery, please get in touch with us and uh, let us know what you think of the program. Okay, so let's move on to your uh, beer de beer de beer de guard. Beer de, beer de guard. guard, yeah. This is beer Melissa May. It's a beer de guard, which in, it basically means beer for keeping. Okay. So this is a beer that's from Aldi. I'll just hold it up there so you can see that. Um, I'm, I'm presuming this is available right across the UK. I think it is. For, if you certainly look at websites like Rate Beer, and mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. there's, there's plenty of people tried it from up yep. and down the yep. UK. Yep. Let's get pouring. Let's get pouring. Like that, doesn't it? It does. Brilliant. Now I'm just going to get the camera ready to do our pour cam. Okay. <sighs> Oh! Oh gosh! Look yeah, at that! Look at, did you look at that! Wow! Okay. 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 Let me so this is this is dry hopped. It's a dry hopped beer. Oh, you can see the genie there in the camera, uh, John. Oh, that looks fabulous. Oh gosh. Condition certainly great, it's very clear, isn't it? It is very clear. So, do you think this is a bottle conditioned beer? If it's caught in with a. a I was unable to find out. Jig on top, I've, you might I've think really, it is. I've really worked hard to try and find out how they make this beer. Let's get in and give this a wee snifter, will we? Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm. It's hoppy. There's a smell there that I'm trying to work out. What is it? I think mm. it's quite a woody smell. There's a woody smell to it, and it's it's like Weetabix. Yes. Yep. Yep. I get that. Not that Weetabix is woody, but it's like there's a woody smell, and then you get a, it's, so it's like when you first put take Weetabix out of a packet. It's, so I'm wondering if there might be wheat in it. Does it say? There's no. I've not there's been able nothing. to find anything about the ingredients or the hops or anything. Mm. So I think we need to get in here and give this a little a little taste. Just letting the viewers have a quick look at yeah. that. Mm. That is really very nice. That definitely tastes um, like, a Bel like a Belgian style beer. It's got an initial sweetness. And it's not, it, there's a slight bitterness, but it's not, it's not heavily bitter. Is you get the sweetness and then there's like a riding floral aftertaste. <clears throat> it's very yeah, there is very there's definitely a floral taste there. Um there's also a slight sweetness to that aftertaste as well. It's and almost um, it's almost elderflower, there's like an elderflower flavour there. It's just as it, just as that sweetness dissipates, you're left with that floral elderflower taste. You know, the aftertaste I'm experiencing is is definitely a, a taste you get with Belgian beers. You know, things like um, uh, Le Chouf, you know, things like that. And um, that's the little dumpy bottle of beer mm -hmm. with the gnome on it. Yeah. Um, things like that. All those Belgian beers have a very similar aftertaste, and this beer most definitely has it. And you know that uh, the, the aftertaste I'm talking about or trying to describe is a very pleasant one. Mm -hmm. So, okay. scores let's see right scores. Right, I'm going to give that eight and a half. Oh, that's a good score. I'm going to give that, gosh, going to have one last taste, I think. I think you're better. It's worth having one last taste. Mm. Yeah, I'm sticking with me eight and a half. I'm going to give that, I'm going to give that an 8. Very good, 16 and a half. 16 and a half, goodness me. So let's get that up on the scoreboard then, John. We've made a little bit of space. Yep, yeah. there we go. So into third place, I cannot believe that. So tonight we've had two very high scoring beers and I cannot believe that an Aldi beer is appearing third place on our scoreboard. It just goes to show you that you can get a really good beer anywhere. Nowadays. It does, isn't it? 
the you know the people that source these beers for these supermarkets, I think, really must know what they're talking about yep. because that is a very good beer. Unbelievable, great stuff. So we've had two good beers tonight. Two good beers tonight. We'll be we'll be going home home happy. We will indeed. <laughs> Please if not a little bit drunk. Please subscribe to our page. Please like our Facebook page, and please follow us on Twitter. And join us for future episodes of Beer Reactions. Slange. Slange.